Welcome to Channel A Make, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day everyone, my name is Carl Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested about migrating to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell on the side so once we have all the updates and news, you'll be the first one getting all the insight. Now unfortunately we don't have much of the immigration policy update. Obviously we are moving towards Christmas and generally at the very last uh, I would say a month or a month and a half there's generally not much of a policy changes here but I would like to update you with some of the information in regards to the border opening and some of the news uh, came out from New South Wales and also came out from South Australia obviously these are all connected to the opening of border and also how they manage and how the government of the state government New South Wales is still promoting a way to have more more migrants. I think it's a way to act. It's it's a way of um, using media uh, to publicize the idea of having migrants and more migrants is better for Australia's future. Let's have a look. First of all, let's check out what phase that we are in at this point in time. Remember, at the early of this year, uh, the Prime Minister Scott Morrison had announced there are four phases going through for all the vaccination rate of the entire Australian population. Let's Let's check out which phase that we are in at the moment. Now, this is the actual news, which I would like to go through at the very end, uh, talking about the radical surge of immigration. But let's go into the national plan first. Okay, because this is also very vital. Uh, now, as you can see, there are four phases. There are phase A, phase B, phase C, and phase D. Obviously, we are not yet at the final post vaccination phase that's why i'm using myself to cover it up anyway we're actually right at the uh, phase c right here so let's have a read uh, what that actually says okay so that's obviously saying 80 percent vaccination two doses vaccination consolidation phase that's exactly the the phase that we're in and congratulations i mean um, australia has actually done a phenomenal efforts by getting the population vaccinated in a very very fast and timely manner now uh, i've been dealing with immigration and visa and things i haven't seen the government has been acting so fast in my life uh where i've been living in australia anyway it's good so let's have a look i think everybody got stuck long enough they want it out so at this phase it says seek to minimize serious illness hospitalization and fatality as a result of COVID-19 with baseline restrictions so measure may include okay let's have read this is very important uh, maximize vaccination co uh, coverage so a lot of uh, states and territory are still uh, a lot of people still got not having vaccination yet so they gotta be get vaccinated uh, minimum minimum ongoing baseline restrictions so obviously we're talking about no more lockdowns so without lockdowns we have just seen a few i think there's one done in northern territory now there was a traveler from brisbane to tasmania who was tested positive with COVID, uh but no lockdown so let's see what happened okay a uh, highly targeted lockdown only so that's only you know uh, very extreme circumstances continue vaccination boost program uh, exempt vaccinated resident and all domestic restrictions so that means border are opening so uh, these last week uh, and this week we'll continue to see more of this news queensland border open for new south well uh western australia and south australia all these border opening news are coming out so a lot of people got really you know fascinated and uh losing comments or losing words i mean what what's going on so every, everything's open up not really but let's have a look okay abolishing caps returning vaccinated australians so meaning that uh the the require of certain limited seats on the commercial uh, passenger flight is no more so uh, you can you can fit i mean that 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 also means the uh, air ticket cost is dropping down too so that's very good 
uh, allow increased cap entry of students. So uh, you can see uh, there's uh, a lot of international student had received email from their university advising that it's time to return and see how that goes. Uh, lift all restriction and outbound travel for vaccinated Australians. So if you are an Australian and you're vaccinated, you want to go out, obviously for certain countries, for Christmas, there's no more restriction, no more exemption required. Okay, extend travel bubble for unrestricted travel, new candidate country like Singapore and Pacific. So, I think Australia will mainly. Um, I'm sorry for the word, it's so little, so tiny. I mean, uh, who knows? Australian government wanted to put, you know, a thousand or two thousand words in one page. Anyway, you can actually search this and download this yourself to have a look. So I, I think the uh, the nation of Australia is using Singapore as the uh, point of service, uh, a beacon. Sorry, should I call uh, to get all the international student arrive in Singapore first, and then taking the same flight together. Uh, and returning back to a particular city or particular university. So that's the way to go. Uh, gradual reopening of inwards and then outward international travel with safe countries and proportion of quarantine reduce requirement for fully vaccinated inbound travelers. So as you can see, we are at a very um, happy phase. There's no more uh, lockdown, no more restriction anymore. And obviously we are moving towards the final phase. I believe that will be uh, obviously the um, the first quarter or first half of 2022 very exciting time to come in uh, now uh, if you go search on the travel for vaccinated Australian permanent residents there is actually a uh, page on home affairs I might as well just to go through this with everybody uh, travel and va vaccinated Australian permanent resident for fully va vaccinated citizen and permanent resident age uh, 12 and over can now travel to and from Australia. So that means if you're younger, you're still restricted uh, because there's no vaccination for youth. Uh, however, there's still a political debate on that one. Anyhow, uh, let's see how, how that goes. Uh, when preparing to travel, you can check in need to go leaving and coming back. Uh, all traveler of Australia complete the ATD at least uh, 72 before departure. So travel decorations. Now, bear in mind, there's also other re uh, requirement for the destination countries whereby they probably need a PCB test or whatever it is. You better check that out as well. So what are the vaccination that's been um, approved by the uh, Therapeutic Goods of Administration, TGA? So two doses for at least 14 days apart. That's uh, AstraZeneca. Uh, the two type of AstraZeneca, I, I think the COVID shield is uh, mainly from India. Uh, Pfizer, BNT, uh, Moderna, uh, Sinovac, uh, Barra Biotech, and also Sinopharm. And one dose for the Johnson, Jensen uh, CLAC COVID uh, vaccine. Okay, at least seven days must be passed at the very uh, before you travel. So you, if it's going to be today, your last vaccination should be... Uh, Sunday last week okay so that that should that's the rule there uh, you get it immunized uh, if you have not been vaccinated within the above doses or schedule you do not meet a strain definition of fully vaccinated this includes instances of those schedule or vaccine eligibility different or country of origin if you do not meet these definition uh, current border restriction apply you must continue to follow follow the current border process that's meaning that with the uh, quarantine hotels and all that mandatory quarantine uh so that doesn't mean if you're not if you're not vaccinated you cannot travel it's just the hustle of getting into those quarantine hotel uh tj is v evaluating other vaccines still as, as you know there's so many coming out and by december i think there's one taking orally I'm not too sure how that goes, but uh, anyway, it's it's a good news because the the world is finally moving forward out of this pandemic. Now, children under twelve, if they are citizen or permanent resident, accept the proof of they cannot vaccinate the medical reasons, will also be able to travel. So, oh, good. So all you need to do is get um, 
approved that can that they cannot get vaccinated. Um, unvaccinated or partially vaccinated Australian children between the age of 12 or 17 um, through New South Wales, Victoria and ACT may also be eligible to reduce quarantine requirement. That means no, no more 14 days, possibly seven days, but you need to check for those state or territories requirement. Um, now, Australian children aged 12 or 17 who are arriving in Australia will be considered unvaccinated if they have not received any vaccinated, uh, partially uh, vaccinated or partially fully vaccinated with non-recognized vaccines. So make sure you take those recognized vaccines. Uh, Australian citizen and permanent resident uh, do not meet those ones. Uh, well, the border control again. So that's, that means quarantine hotel. Approval vaccination. Again, I've done a specific video on this one, so you might want to download that ICVC, or if you're having, you're holding a uh, other country's vaccination certificates. Uh, obviously, you can't, you cannot do this um, on your uh, Medicare or uh, AlGov uh, app. Uh, you bring that once you enter into Australia, then you uh, you need to head to your um, doctor and get that. Uh, recorded into the Australian health systems and then you have that a IV ICVC okay so I've done a, a specific video on that one if you want to refer to that now let's moving to the news some news uh, very interesting news let's uh, let's have a look so this first one is about South Australia so uh, this will apply to every other university as well so I, I think it's it's another key information here South Australia Authority announced further detailed border reopening on November 23rd so 23rd that's only about a week or two away so let's have a look this is today's news so it's uh, four hours ago um, so fully vaccinated South Australian will only have to quarantine seven days. So if they are vaccinated, they still need to be quarantined for seven days. And they're being close contact COVID cases under new rule. So South Australia still needs seven days of quarantine. I think that's a home quarantine, not required to be going to hotel quarantine. Um, and fully vaccinated contact will have isolated until their first negative test. So they'll go through several tests. Uh, obviously, <clears throat> you need to prove yourself that you have a negative COVID. <clears throat> now, the state government today announced detailed reopening plan. Uh, However, a lack of detail around COVID management plan in the state school and the quarantine requirement of unvaccinated children. So again, so you see, it, it's got, I knew this the mess is gonna come out anyway because it's so much of detail and a lot of people with uh, different background you mean people coming back from thailand people coming back from india people coming back from europe and different country different region of europe what about asia east asia japan korea um taiwan china everybody coming back from different background and they have been treated differently obviously uh, how is how are they gonna cope it and and also different age level family friends all these are oh, this is very complicated stuff so under new rule allied today government has changed how authority define close and casual contacts uh, so there's different way to do it otherwise they they might as well just you know uh, shut everybody up um, so unvaccinated people will still go for, for quarantine 14 days um, so this is just some media uh, respond as we have Australia had hit 80% vaccination. Uh, well, this this means ne this week, not next week. Um, South Australia double vaccinated rate had been up to 74, so very good. So I think everybody's ready. But again, it seems to be there's a lot a lot of uh, question and answers, question and answers. Uh, but uh, you know, you see children under 12. There's still a lot of debates on this one here. So I'm I'm showing this. Uh, news basically just to let you know that uh it's it's not gonna be a smooth transition pretty sure because you know this pandemic has killed millions over the past two years so how are the governments treating them must be very very carefully treated now the last uh but the uh news is the first one i actually shown you guys it came out this uh today as well 11 hours ago so why are new south Wales bureaucrat calling radical search of immigration so what happened what are the back backup detail and background here now it's you can actually search this news there's a lot of stats now i read them through uh First of all, I, I don't get really what other numbers and graphs really are about. 
but I think the main thing talking about here is basically they are looking for getting more migrants to catch up for the loss of the economy and also the, 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 the job, the businesses over the past two years. They need to catch that up. Otherwise, uh, the plan two years ago for the na nation's growth cannot actually meet the requirement, which will mean a lot of uh, economic uh, adjustments for every state, every local regions, and a nation will require to change to adapt. But um, I think the good sign is that the these bureaucrats, I mean the politicians in Australia, is looking at a, a optimistic way where they want to utilize uh, migrants to boost up the economy again, uh, rather than slowly waiting for the economy to bounce back for 10, 20 years. They want it back as soon as possible. That is the key point. Now, if they want it back as soon as possible, then bringing back the migrant will be a key. Now, again, this will line up aligned uh, to what we had predicted and with all these news media came out uh, during October uh, I think that will be very good so the next two to three or five years will be very good window for migrant to actually come to Australia and stay and migrate anyhow should you have more questions or query more than welcome to leave a comment right down below and I'll see you next video goodbye